Aubrey. How are you? I'm great. How are you, Jessica? <laughs> Good. Um, IELTS listeners, if you don't watch these on YouTube, you should. We are using a new um, platform this week to record these videos, and we would love to know what you think. So go over to IELTS Energy TV on YouTube. We just passed 100,000 subscribers, by the way. We're Amazing. very excited. Um, but head over there, guys. Thank you for that, right, Jessica? I think yes. you should. Uh, once it comes, you'll have to show it on YouTube for us. Totally. Um, I ordered the trophy. Aubrey nice. was kind enough to allow me to order it. Thank you so much. Of course. Um, and honestly, I'm mainly doing it for like street cred with my son and his friends. That's basically Absolutely, why. right. <laughs> They're gonna be so impressed by that. And we saw the one that all that they sent all ears English, and it's a cool yeah. trophy. It is like, cool, man. Trophies have improved. Oh my god, since my like, spelling grade trophy in first grade, which was not impressive. Do you remember all the little trophies we used to have growing up i feel like my kids or my kids plural i only have one but i feel like kids don't get all those trophies like we had growing up like james hasn't gotten any trophies for his soccer teams no we get participation me. trophies every year over here oh really she oh. has a bunch of them they're kind of small and dinky but she's totally. excited every time and she didn't had, win it's yeah. just like you participated it's just like you're on the team here's a yeah. trophy that's yeah. what happened to me growing up i had like shelves of trophies so and awesome. medals and stuff yeah anywho i get a trophy as an adult so i'm stoked um i'll do a social media post when it comes guys nice. so make sure follow us on instagram all ears english okay uh we're talking about linking words today Yes, exactly. You guys know that you need linking words both on speaking and writing in order to get those um, fluency and coherence scores that you need. So you guys need a variety of linking words. You need informal and formal linking words. And we had a great question in our Three Keys Facebook group about this. Exactly, exactly. So guys, we are going to read this question and then we're going to um, teach you four linking phrases to use to introduce examples. We'll tell you which are higher scoring and we'll give you a couple ways that you could use these in speaking in writing task too. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So Aubrey, can you read the question, please? Yes, this question was from Vicky. Shout out to Vicky, one of our three key students. And she said, hi there, here's a question. What's the difference between, for example, and for instance, which one is better for the exam? Great question. Aubrey, what do you think? Yeah, these are very similar, right? We see students mm -hmm. use them a lot. So they're definitely not the most impressive linking words that you can use. But right. you're limited when you're sharing an example. You're, you know, there are specific linking words that you have to use. What's most important is that you don't repeat the same one over and over. So you exactly. can definitely use these. And then if you need to share another example, you need to have a few more in your pocket, in your arsenal, so that you're ready to not have to repeat. Right, exactly. So here's the thing for writing, guys. In order to get a just a band six, right, you need to have linking words. You need to have some linking words. They can be average, boring linking phrases, like for example, and for instance, um, but you have to have some. Now, if you want a band seven or higher, you can use for example and for instance, but you also have to use other linking words to introduce examples. Now, if we're thinking about writing task two, Aubrey, how many phrases do students need to introduce examples? Like how, if we don't want to repeat any linking phrases, how many do we need in a writing task two? Mm, good question. So for each paragraph, if you only need one idea, then there's a chance you'll just have one example in that idea, right? This totally. changes when there's a plural, when you need to provide causes or advantages. So you have to share two. Exactly. Then you might have two examples, but the average body paragraph is just going to have one. And exactly. so then you'll have two per essay. Exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah, most writing task two essays, guys, you have two body paragraphs. In each body paragraph, you have the topic sentence, you have the main, the um, reason, like the number one reason, whatever. We'll give you an example in a second. And after the reason, you have an example. 
and then you have details about the example. So that's a, that is a very strong paragraph right there. And notice there's only one example, but each sentence moves on. Each sentence has new information in it, right? We're not just listing a bunch of examples because that's band six, guys. If you are going to get a band seven or higher, you have to really prove that reason by not just giving a single example, but by also describing that example, giving details about that example, right? So a great task to essay, you actually only need two phrases to introduce examples, right? Um, but as Aubrey said, just to reiterate, if the question is like asking you to provide advantages or solutions, that's plural. So you're going to need two examples in each paragraph. Exactly. So you do need multiple linking phrases in case that happens. But you made a really good point, Jessica, that there's a very good chance that you'll only need two examples total, one yeah. in each body paragraph. And when that's the case, you want to use the higher level ones. You want to use those totally. that are more impressive to boost that vocabulary score. Yeah. Only use for example and for instance if you've already used the higher level phrases, right? Yeah. Um, so we're going to get to those in just a second, guys. But we also want to remind you that these linking phrases to introduce examples, not just for writing task two, you need these in task one, especially if you're writing a letter. You need these in speaking, especially speaking part three, right? Well, and speaking part one. For, exactly. for that matter. We need a bunch of examples all over the place in speaking. So you actually do need to learn a variety of ways to introduce examples. All right, let's get into some really solid examples so that you can see some paragraphs that would be perfect for a writing task two essay. Totally. All right. So here are some alternatives to, for example, and for instance. Now, these two do come from Three Keys IELTS from our online course. Um, so if you want all the transition phrases and all the tips on how to write band seven and higher essays, go to allearsenglish.com slash K-E-Y-S. Um, all right. So higher level transition example phrases, we can say as a shining example or Something, something is a shining example, okay? We can say as a case in point, comma, blah, blah, blah. Or we can say something, something is a case in point. So there's some nice variation there, guys, of how you can not just use better transition phrases, but also use a variety of grammar structures. So, okay, we have two awesome examples for you guys. Now, the first is um, based on a writing task two question about... The, the advantages of growing one's own food, for example. I've seen this on IELTS. Um, Aubrey, can you read that example, please? Yes. And remember, guys, that your examples follow your reasons. You're strengthening your ideas with the example, right? So, for example, the chief advantage of growing one's own food is that one has healthy food immediately available. For instance, if I want some fresh vegetables to add to the pasta I'm making for dinner, all I have to do is saunter out to my garden and pick some zucchini as opposed to driving all the way to a supermarket. I love your I use love of saunter in that example. I just imagine you prancing out to your garden for some zucchini. That's what I was picturing. I was like... <laughs> picturing myself in like like a big home with like a huge garden in the backyard I have neither of those things by the way I don't even have a yard but this is what I'm picturing and then if I were one of those ladies I would be wearing like a 1950s dress Absolutely. and I'd have an apron on and I'd be like sauntering out with my perfectly manicured nails to pick some right? zucchini <laughs> ladies who garden ladies who have the time and privilege to garden I know. Right? Or who don't live in Arizona where the sun burns anything I ever try to plant. True. <laughs> or in Portland where the garden would be drowning for nine yes. months of the year. So anyway, back to IELTS. Okay. So if we could look at how this is used, for instance, and then the complete example, right? Um, we could also say, as a case in point, if I want some fresh vegetables, so we could replace 
for instance, with that higher level transition phrase. Okay. So, um, we did only read that once. I would recommend listening to this, the, to both of these examples a few times, guys, and even writing these down word for word, because these are structures that you can use in your own writing task too. And these are really great examples of how specific you have to get in order to show interesting vocab, like saunter and zucchini, right? Yes, we have exactly. to get specific. Yeah. Yes. These are full. These are like template sentences that are full of chunks, like the chief advantage of, and then fill in the blank with whatever is related to the essay you're writing. So just like Jessica yep. said, write down these chunks that can be used in any essay. I mean, this, this is what we do in our three keys IELTS task two templates, right? We give you these chunks and show you exactly what to do in every sentence. Um, all right. So let's do one more awesome example, Aubrey. All right, let me read this one. The main reason every citizen should be required to volunteer for two years overseas is that it would create more empathetic members of society. My friend Todd is a shining example of this. After volunteering for Habitat for Humanity and building houses in Ecuador, he returned to Portland, Oregon, and has had a huge impact on creating affordable housing here in the city. So this would be an interesting essay about the advantages and disadvantages of spending two years overseas, volunteering overseas, I guess. Yeah. So the question would be, um, like, should we, should everyone be required to volunteer? Because mm. that has come up on IELTS task two Absolutely. and speaking part three. Um, and no, I do not have a friend named Todd. I totally made this up, but it's a great, um, it's a great example. <laughs> so just quickly, let's look at that grammar. Um, I said, my friend Todd is a shining example of this period. And that's just the example, right? And then I give a detail about that. I explain why it's a shining example. Um, and again, the more specific, the better, because not only are your ideas stronger for your task score and your cohesion coherence score, but again, notice when we get specific, we show better vocabulary right? Absolutely. Creating affordable housing, huge impact, habitat for humanity. All of that stuff is great vocab. Yes. And then alternatively, you could say, as a shining example, my friend Todd volunteered for Habitat for Humanity, right? You have yeah. these two options, both very high level and are boosting. Are, they're better than, for instance, for example, because students don't use them all the time. The examiner won't have seen them as often. They're higher level. Yes. Oh my gosh. I am so happy we could share these examples with you guys. They're such a great inside peek into what your goals need to be for writing task two. I love it. Um, all right. Uh, Aubrey, if students have questions, where can they get us their IELTS questions? Yes, you guys can email support at allearsenglish.com and send us IELTS questions. And if you are a Three Keys student, you can post any question in our Facebook group and get answers right away. So remember, you can sign up at allearsenglish.com slash keys. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for listening today, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Aubrey. Bye. Bye.